everybody. Ronald Damp here, doing some field herping. As you can see, I have a, another beautiful specimen of another Anectins, San Diego Gopher Snake, Petuophis cantinifer Anectins. Anectins. Uh, that's a mouthful. But anyways, this one here, I was hiking along, and um, I'm actually hiking to a spot that I I see, but I've, I've heard for one other time, and it's a, a big, it's a big granite rock face, with uh, just just looks really cool. I think I showed it to you guys last uh, video, so I came back to it today, and uh, I'm, I was hiking along, and I see this. I can see all the. I don't know if you can see all the greenery um, down below me here. This is this is a, a dried up creek creek stream right here. This last winter, we didn't get a whole lot of whole lot of rain, snow. So all the creeks are kind of dried up, but there are, but they're, but they're really green and lush because there was some water in them. Well, anyways, this is where this guy was at, right down in the, in the, in the crevice of the creek bed. Just had got lucky and happened to look there, and there he was. He almost has a little bit of a, I don't know, reddish hue to him. Maybe a little bit in the sunlight. I saw that, because so I know some of these San Diego gopher snakes, they do have some reddish hues to them. Um, you know their their saddles, their their blotches back here get really they're really you know modeled close together. But uh, well, this is a beautiful specimen, a little smaller than the ones I saw last week. Very well behaved. All of these, I haven't come across one uh, uh, anectins, the subspecies um, of this gopher snake of of the genus uh, Petufus so well behaved. I mean, this is such a well behaved snake. Uh, a lot of the other gopher snakes I've seen are bull snakes from, you know, from the, uh, from that, from that um, subspecies. Uh, they're just cantankerous. They're, they're, they're def very defensive and very, you know, strike and hiss and put on a big show. I, these ones just don't even hiss. I, I mean, he was looking right at me, looking up at me when he was down in the creek or the little, the little dry up creek. And I just, just calmly reached down and, and picked him up. Like a like a like a like a captive raised. Just <laughs> I love these guys. These are these guys are are fa are fantastic. Um, and he just put up with me. I mean, I, I just he even you know as I, I I wanted to get footage of him right, so I didn't want to try to set my camera up and do all that. So I grabbed him first. So I'm one handing holding a snake while he's tolerating me, kind of holding him tightly. Trying to mount my camera to the tree here, to this manzanita tree, so I have something to to, to pre, you know present you guys with, uh, so, so I can present you guys the snake, not one-handed and everything. I mean, I don't like doing one-handed, but I will if I have to. He let me do it. Can't this this is cool, man. I probably could have put him around my neck. Nah, he probably would have fell off. He probably he's he wants to he wants to keep moving, um, but uh, healthy. I mean, really healthy. These guys are flourishing up here. They're doing really well. Um, it's good to see. Very beautiful snake. If I can get it to, to focus it on for you guys here. Sometimes if they keep moving it won't focus focus for camera anyways cool what a cool little snake almost looked like a garter snake for a second from when I the sides of him right here you know he has almost that checkered he almost has that checkered pattern that checkered garter snake pattern when I saw it I was like oh my god a garter snake no it's a cover snake crazy Anyways, good find, another good find. This is awesome. I'm gonna take some pictures of them, get some still shots, and keep on moving. Hi right, guys, here it is. This is the area that, for some reason, I have a good feeling about to bring me some little areas. See the little little areas right here, right off the ground here. These little crevices, perfect little spots for snakes to thermal regulate themselves in and out of this opening right here right you know to keep themselves warm that's a lot about what rattlesnakes will do um and many other snakes for that matter the main the species that i'm or the 
genus that I'm looking for in, in particular right now in this area is the uh, uh, San Bernardino California Mountain King Snake. Um, Lampropeltis zonata parve ruba, I think that's how you pronounce the subspecies name, Latin name. So, but it's a little warm right now in the sun. Uh, I don't know, it's about 82 degrees probably. It's about just about right actually. It just feels warmer than it probably is. Um, this is, I'm gonna have to act, I'm gonna have to act quick though. If I do see something on these rocks, I'll have to act fast because they're gonna, you know, they will scrape right back into their hole as quickly as I see them. So. You know, all these old logs, a lot of this granite, it's flaking off. Um, you can see it flaking off all over here, here. But I don't want to destroy it though. I don't want to pull, I don't want to pull up those, these flakes of granite. It's, it's uh, pretty sure that California Fish and Game considers that destruction of uh, habitat. And if I do that, and I don't want to do that. I want to observe, respect the habitat I'm in, and enjoy it. See some lizard activity. All right, let's see what we can find. Guys, remember what I was just talking about? How I was talking about how snakes stay half in half out to thermoregulate their body well here's a great example of that right now i just walked up i'm walking up this hill to check these little places under these rock uh, cavities right here these little overhangs and i see a gopher hole and i see a southern pacific a hellerai halfway in well he's not halfway out but he's but he's i can see his body from here so cool i don't know if you can see let's see if we can get let's see if we can get in here look See his body, guys? There he is. Cool. Let's see if we can... I'm gonna see if I can pull him out a little bit and see what he, see how big he is. He ain't rattling not so far. He's not rattling, so... Let's see here. Be careful how I do this because I am on a little bit of an incline. That's his tail. I don't. Yeah. Yeah, I can't. I'm not gonna be able to get him out. He's like I said. He was. That's a gopher hole. And uh, he's. Let me zoom out of my face here. He is. Uh, it's it's too big for my hook to get down there. And uh, he's safe and secure. But at least I got it. Hey, I found another snake. Oh, hawk. I love red tail hawks. All right. Woo, snake number two. Let's move on, guys. See what else we can find. I have a question, guys. Do sunglasses help or hinder you when you field herp? It's, I don't know, when I have them on, I feel like, I, I feel like I'm not able to see everything I need to see. Could just be that they're scratched. I just see like I just feel like I can see a bit anything much better with with my eye with no sunglasses on a sunny day. Anyways, like let me know in the comments what you guys prefer when you feel her sunglasses or no sunglasses on a sunny day. All right. All right. There's a little scoloporus that wants his picture taken. Let's see if he'll sit there for us while we get closer. Maybe someone can tell me what subspecies of scoloporus this is. 
Oh, don't leave. A spiny lizard, common western spiny lizard, but I don't know. There's there's a whole lot of different subspecies, and it's really hard to tell sometimes when they're when they get darker or. Oh, he's not gonna stay for me. Stay. Yeah, I like him yellowish under his arms here. Anyways, so much for that. Milk, try in. All right, guys. Well, that is it. I'm back home. Just pulled in my driveway. And uh, I'm going to end the video here. Thanks for watching, guys. Subscribe and comment. And I'll see you on the next adventure. Thanks.